Hello there, my name's Dave Allen, I'm Goon Geeky, and today we've got some new stuff from Affinity. And we've got Affinity version 2 of Photo Designer and Publisher. And one of the things I've been really looking forward to is to be able to have some mesh warp tools so we can warp text and shapes and it doesn't get turned into a bitmap. Let's have a look and see what we've got in there. It's pretty good actually. Here we are in Affinity Designer. Let's finish putting this text in there and do some warping. Okay, so now we've got the letters all in there. Let's take this here and we're just going to drag this line up a bit. Let's drag it up there and we can see we can change the shape of it. And we've got a nice curve at the top of there. And we'll do the same at the bottom as well. Just go straight down with it and we've got a curve at the bottom too. Or we go up with that way with it if we want to as well. So whichever way you want to go with that and get the shape of the text as you like it. So that's using the mesh. In fact, that's not using the mesh, that's using the quad. But it turned into mesh because I changed the top and the bottom of it. Let's go for a different one. Let's uh, reset this first. So reset that one. Now this time we're going to go for a perspective. And with the perspective, we can just move these corners here. So we can change this here. Move that up there and go a different perspective on there. And take this one here. You can change perspective that way. So it doesn't matter which way you're looking at it. So you can make this fit into whatever shape you've got on your screen there. And so the good thing about this is that it stays as a vector and doesn't turn into a bitmap like in the previous version of Affinity Designer. I can move it over on the other side there and change that there too if I want to. And then get some really groovy sort of things happening there. So that's the perspective. Let's do a reset on this again. So let's go for an arc this time with a vertical. And we get a sort of like a curvy sort of tunnel sort of shape with that there. And we can change this here to make it curve as we want it to. And again, move those nodes there to get it to the shape that you're actually looking for. So let's do a reset on that again. So that's um, arc vertical. Let's do a arc horizontal. And with the arc horizontal again, we can grab these here and change the shapes of this here. So this time let's go back up to the menu and choose fisheye and see what we get with that. And with fisheye we can take these nodes in the centre here and change them here like this. And we get all sorts of weird things happening with our shapes. This could be just what you're looking for. I don't think it's what I'm looking for here, but it could be just what you're looking for. So that's uh, something we can do there. Let's do a reset on that there. And change to a different type of mesh. Let's go for a twist this time. And with a the twist there we're getting all sorts of crazy things happening there. Getting some very wavy text indeed. You can make this as wild and wonderful as you wish. And you can start turning these here and moving them and putting them in different places. You can add nodes there if you want to. So if I want to add a node here, I can double click on that there. So if I want another node there, I can double click on that bit there and put another node in there. And move that whichever way I want it from that point there. And let's do a reset again. If I'll tell you what we're going to do, we're going to do a convert to curves. Let's convert that to curves. And then we'll deselect it. And then let's go back to selecting it again and go to the node editing tool. So now if I go to the node editing tool and look at this letter T here, you can see that it is actually curves and I can change these nodes here and move them around and change the shape of it. And that just proves that it's not a bitmap. Okay, so we've got this one here and we're going to do some more warping on there. So back up to this layer here, I'm going to go to the warp group, do a bend, let's do a vertical bend. Put it back to something else, horizontal. That goes that shape, that way there. And you can bring that down to here. And grab these nodes, move them around just the way that you want them. Let's go to an arc, horizontal. I'm sure there's going to be a shape in there that's going to fit your purpose just the way that you want it. So let's put it back in the middle. And let's go back into the node editing tool so we can start editing this curve. And we can take this one here and take that up there. And I'm just changing it on the top line, not the bottom line. And I'd have to go back into this one here to make some changes there if I want to. So it doesn't uh, keep the two sort of uh, equidistance as you're moving one. It just changes the one top or the bottom. Okay, so this is Dave Allen, good and geeky. We've been looking at what we can do with the mesh and warp tools that is new in version 2 of affinity designer love it excellent we've been waiting for that and now we've got it cool or what